So Monitoring the Future is an annual study of adolescents. Its purpose is to track trends in adolescent drug use. We want to see which drugs are gaining in significance and which ones are falling. And the big finding this year was about vaping. We found a very big jump in vaping among adolescents. Among 10th and 12th graders, it was the largest jump we've ever seen in any substance that we've tracked for the past 43 years. And in 2018, 20% said that they had vaped nicotine in the past 30 days. The previous year, the same question, it was only 10%. So that's a 10% increase in the number of 12th grade adolescents who are vaping nicotine. I wouldn't call them surprising so much. There have been a lot of reports in the media from schools where school principals report there's been a huge increase in vaping, particularly with a new device called a Juul, J-U-U-L. And I've got lots of calls from reporters this past year actually asking about that. This is the, one of the first studies, not the first, but one of the first studies to show that this increase really was quite substantial. Well, I think it's a warning sign, to tell you the truth. Um, I think right now we found that it's profitable for some companies to addict children to nicotine, which I don't see any redeeming value to myself. And literally, there's billions of dollars to be made in this, and so it's important for us to have some policies and regulations to try to prevent this from happening in the future. DNA is a good thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Still can't hear you. Yeah. We saw a big increase in marijuana vaping this year. So that's typically been pretty uncommon until recently, but these days, uh, well, in 2018, marijuana vaping increased by 50%. So now it's about 9% of 12th graders. Come here. No matter what kids can vape, they are really taking to vaping it. These jewels, a specific type of vaping device, are very easily concealable. They look like a flash drive, and you can put them in your pocket, and nobody can really stop you from carrying them into school. They're very hard to detect. Yeah. 